I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I think I just nailed foiling. Hey everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my channel and the craft slash dining room. Today I am foiling with success. And when you see how this card turned out, well, you might be proud of me. I keep trying to foil and I keep learning a little more every time I do it, but wait until you see the result with a foil plate and a coordinating stencil from Waffle Flower Crafts. It is in a word, cool. <laughs> to see that project, stick around. It's coming up next. So here's a look at the products I'll be starting with today. And this is the Elongated Hex Stencil Duo and it's designed to work with this cool elongated hex foil plate. And it is bigger than the size card that I'm going to make, so I'm gonna trim it down. This is some hammer mill cardstock, and I'm going to be using this hot foil. It's called Aura. A few of my commenters here on YouTube told me to try it out, so I ordered some, and it's got this kind of cool iridescent -y rainbow look, so hopefully this will work. now. Let's go take a look at my glimmer machine. Please ignore the Gemini on the floor. Had to move that over to make room. So here we're going to go ahead. I'm gonna turn this on and I'll go ahead, let's see here, and let that warm up. And I'm gonna try a couple things to get the best impression possible. One of them is going to be putting my plates on top while I heat things up. While this is heating up and I've got crazy sunlight coming in, I'm just gonna cut my piece of foil. I'm not using any fancy trimming system for this one. I'm putting this down on the on the piece. And then we go pretty side down. That one I know, right? Like that. I'm gonna take our sheet of cardstock place that here. And this is what many of you have told me to do. Put this on while we press the timer button so that that way it's kind of holding in all the heat and hit the timer. The light is now solid green. I don't know if I should let it sit for another couple seconds, but I'm going to just gently dislodge, right? Pull this out like that. And then we're going back to the table cam. I've taken all my plates out and now we will hold this together and go through slowly. I'm gonna pull this here a little bit. It might focus on my hand. But we'll just go through nice and slow. Make sure that pressure is being added like that. And come back. Well, it's a thrilling shot there, but hopefully, hopefully the peel and reveal will be good. We'll see. I'll just set this down here. Pick this up. Ooh, it's very, very warm. In fact, I should get my little tool. Where is that little tool? Okay, here we go. All right. I'm going to pick this up. And I'm going to just pick this up and go put the plate or the bottom back in the, uh, the machine. And I've got a mat here that I will just put that there and let that cool off over here too. And then we're going to peel it off. Oh my gosh, that is, except for just a couple little areas, look at that. Whoa, that is super cool. Okay, I'm going to, and I'm gonna set this aside. Unfortunately, I don't have any, what are they called? The uh, plates, the full plates with that, but I could use that I'm sure for something else. But what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna zoom in here a little. I'm gonna take my little creative detailer tool and just get that foil off if I can. There we go comes off pretty well and then I'll be ink blending of course there's only two areas and then come here look at the, the reflection it's got a very uh, definite rainbow vibe okay. and you know what I don't even know if I'm gonna use this full panel so this might be overkill
but it gets enough of the foil off that you are not even going to notice it. Before I start ink blending, I am going to tape my paper into place because I will be trimming this at some point. I don't want my paper to move, so that's probably good. I'm also going to use one of these waffle flower holders for my ink pad. And I'm going to open up the first color I'm going to be using is Cheeky. So we're going to have Cheeky ready to go. And I have my brushes here. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by doing the centers. Now, I think the easiest way for me to do this is just kind of look top to bottom, side to side. As soon as I think I have it, I mean, there's little lines there, but I, I am just going to eyeball this and we're going to add color and i just think this is going to be so neat okay i'm probably good i'm going to stick a magnet down for now and here but i'm also going to tape now i know it's overkill but here's the thing you know when in rome right i don't like things to move and i think this is one of the easiest ways to make sure this stays because i'm going to create a blend right it's not just going to be one color and my goal here is to go lighter all the way through the rainbow and then come back with the same colors and fill in with a little darker detail. So that's why, that's why we're committing to holding it all down, plus a few extra there. Okay, let me grab a little piece of paper to tap off if I need to. And I'm going to load up my ink with my first color, which is Cheeky. And I'm going to probably have to saturate my brush a little more because I haven't used this brush. All right. And while I'm ink blending, I'm going to put on some music so we can speed up the process. Right, let's take a look at what this looks like and then we're going to add centers. I'll just lift this up. Gently peel it up. Oh, I don't even know if I need the centers. Whoa. Whoa, this looks so cool. Oh my gosh, I don't I don't know if I'm going to use the centers. I mean, I guess I could because it's just going to be tone on tone, right? So let's Let's see again. Oh yeah, we'll do it. We're going all in on this. Uh, looking at the bottom. And now let's just go up in reverse order. All right, we'll come back to this and we'll just go a little darker with the same colors. layer of color has been added. Let's lift this up and see. Oh my gosh. It's very cool. Oh, I'm glad I did do that. Look at this. Okay, if that isn't the prettiest pattern, the rainbow tones in the foil. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That is just beautiful. All right. I'm going to let that sit while I plan my greeting. For my greeting, I have this large 
thank you foil plate. And I've used this on another card, which I'll be sure to link up here in the upper right. But I am going to get my machine reheated, right? So I can foil this and then I have the coordinating die so I can cut it out. I'm actually thinking of, I might make a five by seven card, which I never do, but there's just so much prettiness here. I don't know if I can bear to cut it, but I don't have the A7 layers dies, do I? Hmm. Let me think on that while this is heat heating up or over there and we'll get it going. This is all warmed up. So we're going to go there. Pretty side down paper to cover. I think that's going to be fine. Pop both of these on like that and timer. And as soon as that pops, I'll run it through. And we'll just hold this into place and run it through slowly. Come forward a little bit here. My plates, set them over here. I will pick this all up. Oh, that looks like it transferred. And then I'll take this and pop that over on my, won't get off there. Well, it's all magnetized in there. <laughs> Let's get this back over in the cradle, although I think I'm done. Let's peel and reveal. Look at that. Oh, gorgeous. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that. This does not matter because of the die cutting. So all I need to do, oh wait, did that stick up there? You know what, I think I'm gonna, file a little of that off. I wasn't expecting that. So let's try that. Let's, let's remove a little of that because I don't want to press it into the paper when I die cut, but I think I can. There we go. And then I will run this through. I think I'll just run it through my Gemini, which is plugged in over on the floor. And I will go cut this out and we can start thinking about the rest of the card. Take this off and let's see. Uh, I don't want to poke anything. I don't think I'm getting anything stuck to the tape. No, that's fine. That's fine too. Come on out, poking it all out, lifting the die, and we're going to have a beautiful little friend. Like that. Come on out. All right. Oh, yes, look at that. And you're not, you don't even see the part that overfoiled, but look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I think what I'm going to do also off camera is take some cheaper cardstock and build up a little dimension for this because I think that on the panel here is going to be absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to die cut some more of these and I'm also going to cut this down using, I'll show you here, I'll get it lined up, using the largest of my A2 layers dies because then I could put it on a 5x7 card base and I think it will work perfectly. So all you need to do here, let's see, is how do I want to split it like that, right? And we'll have a beautiful panel for our card base. It looks good. I think it will, right? Oh yes, that's very pretty. So see, you still get all the good shine. We're going to, I mean, I guess I could put these on some foam squares, but that would just be so many foam squares. I don't know if I want to do that. So let me glue a couple layers of this in white onto this, and then I'm going to get a card base prepped. And actually, I just realized I didn't do the largest one. I did slightly smaller one, and I wanted to do the bigger one. You know what? Live and learn. I've got a piece of cardstock here, 10 by 7. I'm going to go 5, as far down as it will let me. And I'm going to flip it. Now, this will fit on a USA 2 if I wanted to. I just want to see what it looks like. It might be the complete wrong proportion. I know this, but it might also be exactly what is needed to give everything a chance to breathe, you know, because it's so beautiful. Now, of course, it is a side fold. And I think if I put this on here, you know, 
I, I, I don't love that. <laughs> like I love that it can breathe, but I don't love that. So I think I am going to put it on a USA too. Let me get a regular one going and we'll finish up the card. Okay. I've got a foam tape. I think it was the right call. You know, I don't have the A7 layers dies and maybe, maybe I should get those because the, the amount that I use the A2 layers dies is kind of, well, it's my most, one of my most used dies. So let's line this up. And this is actually really nice. I'm, I'm glad for the mistake, meaning that I cut it smaller. Um, and we'll just look at all the sides and pop that down. That just gives such a nice margin, but like, look, you're still getting all of it. So I'm not getting the light in here. The way, there it is. Oh, so pretty. All right, I'm going to just take some liquid glue here and add this. Should I do it a little angled maybe? A little, I'm gonna have a little bit of the tea coming into the margin and maybe a little bit of the upper as well. We'll just have it at a slight angle so it will fit nicely in a US A2 envelope. All right, and just let that adhere. I will use some sequins. This is kind of a cool sequin. It's got that rainbow. It's called Gold Fever from Studio Katia. And I just put five on. I think that's just a fun way to finish off uh, this card. We're going to put a little glue. Boop. Boop. Little guy there. And one last friend Boop, right there. Got a little glue seeping out up here, but I think that's okay because it will dry clear. And that's the finished card project. I feel like this is the most successful foiling <laughs> that I've ever done. I mean, in terms of like, you know, getting in the ink blending and that rainbow tone. I mean, this is an, this card is extra. I will say that, right? So much is happening, but I'm, I'm kind of excited that uh, it turned out like this. You can find links to all of the supplies I used in today's video below in the YouTube description box. I will see you back here with another card project soon. If you like seeing more attempts at hot foiling, check out the thumbnails below where I'm doing foil. I don't always do it as well as some people, but I'm always trying. I'll see you in those videos.